Hey, Max Bomas Cornette here, and I'm sorry I'm getting this video out so late. Um, this you know, the year has been kind of crazy, but um, I just want to say again, thank you all so much for your hard work, and I know it was difficult being um, kind of just at, at virtual with all of this, but I really love seeing you guys, and I hope things can get back to normal as soon as possible. Um, but a good way we like to celebrate um, the year coming to an end is doing some called fun day or some schools call it field day. So basically normally we would go to the park and we would do these different activities, but I have made um, a virtual fun day field day you can do at home. So there's 10 different events. I'm going to have a little part where it kind of tells you what equipment you might need. Um, you can just pick a few of them to do maybe for fun. Um, I know last year when we did this, I had some kids that, you know, if you, if you are in contact with some other kids, they, they did like an on FaceTime and kind of competed with each other, which I thought was really, really cool. Or you can just send me, you doing one of the favorite ones that you like the most. Um, but it's, it's things that you have around the house. And if you don't have it, no worries at all. I don't want you to go buy anything or, um, you know, spend any money on stuff. It, it just use the things that you have at home, you know, the sock balls. And there's some, I think there's some cups that we'll need. Um, there's a little part of the video that will, will tell you everything you need and then I go through each event and, um, and, and it even list on the side there um, has like a little slide of what you'll need and, and kind of how to do it too so you can read the directions and see me do it as well so um, for this it's actually for specials this whole week um, you can just do just do fun day stuff so you can practice it first if you want and then send me a video or a picture um, or if you can find somebody to, to do it with, I think that would be lots of fun too. So um, thank you all so much again for all your hard work. I miss seeing you guys and can't wait to see you all soon. Adios. You'll need if you have them. So one thing we have a ladder for one of the activities. For another one we're going to do kind of a ski ball. We're going to have a laundry basket, a bucket, and a like a Tupperware container. You're going to need, and especially if you did this a few weeks ago, we have little sock balls. I have 10 of them. You can kind of just roll up a sock into a ball. If you have tennis balls, some of the activities will work better with tennis balls, but if you don't, you can still use a sock ball. We're gonna need some plastic cups. For a different one, if you have balloons, you use balloons. If you don't have balloons, you can use a plate. I just got like a paper plate. We need like a little bit harder of a cup for something else. An empty water bottle, a towel, and something heavy like a jug of water. Uh, if you don't have a jug of water, you could just use a bucket and fill it up with water. So, those are the equipments, and we'll have a, I'll have a list uh, showing everything that we need. Um, okay, so the way this is going to work, so I'll have, we'll have 10 different activities that you can do um, to practice and see which one you like the best. If there's something like you don't have a ladder, then maybe you, you can use the stairs, or maybe that's just not the one you do on Friday. Because on, on Friday, we're going to really focus on doing four. Now. If you want to do more, you are more than welcome to do as many as you like, all 10. Um, if you just want to really practice four of them that you really like, that sounds good too. So I'll have uh, the rest of the videos showing all the different activities. Here we go. Okay, for this activity it's called Climb the Ladder. For Climb the Ladder, obviously you're going to need a ladder. You're going to need an empty water bottle and it's going to start on the bottom on the ground. Now if you can do this inside if you want, like I said earlier, on stairs, just start on the bottom step. If you have a ladder, you can do it on a ladder. Then you're going to need your laundry basket and you're going to fill it up with all of your sock balls. So i got 10 sock balls here. And the goal here is to try to throw the ball and knock over your water bottle. Every time you knock over the water bottle, you're going to go up another step on the ladder until you go all the way up. So this one is not something you need to do fast. This is more about taking your time and uh, getting the best throw you got. Okay. So you're gonna keep track. If you want to keep score, you can. If you don't want to keep score, that's fine too. So you just keep track of how many throws it takes. So I'm gonna get 10 to 15 feet away. Six for me. That's about six steps away. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. First of all, oh, I knocked it over. So we gonna have to run. We don't have to run. It's not a race. I'm going to go ahead and grab my softball just in case I need it. And now it's on the second step of the line. Go back to my spot. Throw it again. Remember, TL step of throw. Oh, missed. Go ahead and just use the one I have over here. TL step of throw. So 
if you're keeping track, I think that's seven throws. Again, if you don't want to keep score, don't worry about it. Alright, finally got it. So, I ended up not keeping score because it took me so many. Um, if you're having trouble, you can just scoot your lineup a little bit more. But I clearly need to practice some more before fun day. So, that is climb the ladder. Okay, so that's climb the ladder. So remember, we got our, we need the sock balls, we need to, something to hold them in, and then a ladder. And again, if you don't have a ladder, you use steps. And we're just going to do four times. So four steps up. And you're trying to do that in the least amount of throws as you can. Um, if you're having some trouble, you can scoot up a little bit. Like me, I was having some trouble, so I might scoot up a little bit. Um, if it's too easy, maybe you can back up a little bit. So um, you can practice that to be ready for Friday. Okay, next one we have here is the towel flip challenge. So, um, this is actually the first time I'm doing this, so um, we'll see how it goes. But the goal of the towel flip challenge is to, just like it sounds, get the towel to flip over to the other side. But here's the trick. You can't move the towel if both feet aren't on the towel. So I can't do this. I couldn't go and step off of it. I couldn't lift up one leg and step on it like that because I have to have both feet on the towel when I move the towel. So this one might take a little practice. Um, the goal of this is to do it in at under one minute. If you have one minute, it's meant to have somebody um, on fun day help set a timer for it, but you can just practice for now. So, um, I'm going to give it my best shot. Let's see how it goes. All right. So, I'm going to keep my feet still. I'm going to fold over part of it. That's the towel flip challenge. Um, hope you practice and you're ready to go on Friday. Hey, okay, we have the next one. We have the milk jug relay. So we are, um, I'm using these red cups, kind of as like my cones for like gym class. And you're gonna find, I couldn't find a uh, one gallon or a milk jug. So I got this, found this jug of water in our, uh, so I'm going to use this. If you really want to challenge yourself and you have it, you can do two jugs, one for each hand. Um, if it's too heavy, you can maybe like fill it up halfway. But your goal is going to be you have one minute to go back and forth as many times as you can. Each time you get to a new cone, you get another, you get a point. So if you go there and back and there and back, you get four points. Four. Okay. So I'm going to have one minute on the clock and we'll see how many points I can get and see if you can beat my record. Okay, ready, set, go. So one point. And if you can run, you can start running, but when it's kind of heavy, it's hard to run. Two points. Three points. I have my wife helping keep the time, so I can just worry about going back and forth. to switch hands if you're just using one. Time. Oh, time. So 
I think if I count it right, I got 11 points. So 11 is the number to beat. So that's the milk jug relay. You can practice it um, so you're ready for Friday. Okay, Maxwell, uh, we have for this activity, it's called If the Shoe Fits. So you're gonna need, basically all you need is a shoe. I'm doing this outside. Um, you might, you could do this inside. But you're going to be really careful that your shoe doesn't fly off and uh, break anything. I don't want that to happen. So the goal of the game is for you to kind of have just your foot barely in it. And you're going to flip your shoe to see what happens. Okay? So there's three different things that can happen. If it does, what Mr. Cornette just did, it lands on the side. It's worth one point. If it lands like this, two points. If you can somehow get it to land like that, it's worth three points. And you're probably going to need some help if you're gonna keep track of um, how many points you get. So you have one minute to flip your shoe and score as many points as you can. So let's see what happens. All right, timekeeper, you got the time? All right, ready, set, go. All right, so one flip. Oh, oh I got a two-pointer there. Oh, I got two points, so that's really much of a flip. It's a one-pointer, that's three points. Gotta do a little math here, too. Another two pointer. That's five points. Another two pointer. Seven points. Another two pointer. Bounces there. Another two pointer. Another two points. Eleven points. One pointer there. Twelve points. Another one pointer. I can't get a three pointer there. Thirteen. Time. That one didn't count, didn't make it in time. So I had 18 points. So that's the number to try to beat. Um, if you don't want to keep track of points, you just want to practice, you can do that too uh, so that you're ready for Friday. Okay, we got our next activity. We got um, soccer ski ball. So there's going to be two ways you can do this. Um, you want to do it soccer style you can kick the ball um, if you'd rather do like an underhand toss like you do normal ski ball you can do that too so I'm actually going to show you how I kind of built this ski ball a little activity here so I have a laundry basket and I have a bucket and then I have a little tubware container and I have everything kind of lean up to the front so that the ball can roll into one of these so if it goes into the laundry basket like that it's worth one point if it goes into the bucket, it's worth five points. And if you can get to go in the small little Tupperware container, it's worth 10 points. So you're gonna have 10 kicks or 10 throws, and um, you can tally up your points. So let's see how it goes. So you're gonna get about 10, 15 steps away, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm about this far away. So I'm gonna do five rolling them and five kicking them. Let's see how it goes. So, that one, oh, didn't go in. Oh, too high. Oh, I got it in the big one. Now, you might have to come up here if it's in the way and blocking it and get it out. So that was a 10-pointer, but you get 10 throws. You got to make the most of it. Oh, too high. I got one more for my throws. Oh, didn't quite make it. All right, so now I'm going to try the kicking way. I'm not, I know my soccer players there at Maxwell are going to probably do much better than me, but I'm going to get my best shot here. I'm going to have to practice a lot before next week. Okay, I got one more. So, not very good, but that's why we practice. We can get better. If you don't uh, want to keep score and you just want to have fun and try, I think that's great too. So, um, that's soccer ski ball. Okay, the next activity we have here is wind bowling. So, for wind bowling, if you have a balloon, um, you can try the balloon. Um, I think it's a little more fun with the balloon, but not everybody has that. If you don't have a balloon, you can use a paper plate. If you have a paper plate, if you don't have a paper plate, you can just 
some type of maybe like a plastic plate. Um, and then you're going to need 10 kind of light cut, like light plastic cups. And you're going to have one minute to try without touching with your hands or the plate or the balloon, try to knock over as many cups as you can. For the balloon, obviously you're going to, have to there's going to be some time of you blowing up. You have to kind of slowly let the air out. And with the plate, you're going to have to kind of fan it like that. See if you can knock over the cup. So I'm going to do the balloon first, and then I'll show you with the uh, the plate next. So let's see how it goes. All right, ready, set, go. Now the more air you have, in it. oh no, I didn't knock any over. There it is. Uh -oh, I got to re-blow my balloon up. You have one minute to try and knock over them all, and every cup you knock over is worth a point. So, I'm going to set it back up and show you how to do it with the plate. Alright, so for the plate, we still have our 10 cups. But instead of using bloom, we're going to wave the plate like a fan. I'm trying to blow them off, create that air to blow them off. But you can't touch the cup with your plate. Okay? So you have one minute, and every cup you knock over um, is worth one point. Here we go. Ready, set, go. So I'm going to wave them. Try to get behind them without touching them. Oh, they're blowing around. So if you can knock them all over fast, you can just keep time and see how fast you can do it. So that is wind bowling. For Friday. All right, the next one we have is the water bottle trap. So it's kind of like, um, kind of reminds me of that game mouse trap that we play in school sometimes. Um, and the goal of it, the game is for you to roll the ball and to get it to hit the water bottle. That's the part that has to happen if you want to get any points. So to hit the water bottle, which will make the trap, the laundry basket, fall down and either trap the water bottle, trap the ball, or maybe even trap both. So if you get the ball trapped, it's worth one point. If you get the water bottle trapped, it's worth two. If you get both of them, it's worth three. Okay, so for kinders in first grade, probably gonna be like three or four steps away. Second, third grades, maybe like five steps away. And fourth and fifth grade, maybe like 10 steps away. Um, if you don't um, have a tennis ball, I'm using a tennis ball, you can go back to our handy dandy sock ball that we had from earlier. Um, if you have something like a little bigger, like a, I don't know, like a bigger rolling ball, um, it might be a little easier too. So I'm going to do about seven or eight steps away. Now I'm going to set a cup down so I know where my spot is so I can get back to it real quick. All right, so you have one minute to try and score as many points as you can. So i got my timekeeper here so I can worry about Rolling it and knocking over the water bottle. Here we go. Ready, set, go. I roll. I hit the water bottle. It didn't hit it hard enough, though. So I bet you roll hard enough to knock it over. Oh, I missed the water ball. Even though it trapped the ball, I don't get any points because I didn't hit the water bottle. Set it back up. Back to my cup. Just did it again. No points for that. Trap the ball, but not the water. Set it back up. That's worth one point. Oh, missed it again. No points. Oh, come on. Didn't hit it hard enough. Missed it again. Time. Clearly, need to do some practicing. Um, again, if it's, have, it's too trouble, too much trouble for you, you can just scoot up and get a little closer, or use a bigger ball. That'll make it a little easier. But you gotta get a workout on this one too. So I'm a little tired, but um, practice that to be ready for fun day. Okay, here we go. We got.
got the penguin race, and for the penguin race, you're going to need two cups and a sock ball. And the um, sock ball is going to be kind of like the egg um, that you're trying to protect. So you're going to have to end up waddling a penguin because you're going to put the sock ball in between your knees. And you're going to start at one cup, and you have a minute to go as many times back and forth as you can. But the trick here is you have to, when you get to the next cup, lift it. And each time you flip it, that's worth the point. So I have one minute to go back and forth. I started my cups about 15 steps away. You can do 10 feet away, whatever you want to do. So I'll get my timekeeper here. We'll see what I can do. Now, something I forgot about. If I drop my egg on the way, before I can pick it up and keep going, I got to do five jumping jacks. So it's kind of like a penalty. So you got to be really careful not to do that so it doesn't slow you down. So. All right, timekeeper, you ready? All right, here we go. One, two, ready, go. I gotta waddle like a little penguin back and forth. Oh no, I'm about to lose my head. Oh, lost my head before I can start again. have some at home you want to play with, like a brother or sister or mom and dad want to play, you can do, um, each of you have your egg and you have your own cups and the first one that gets uh, six points wins. So you can kind of do a challenge with somebody. Um, that would be a good thing to practice for fun day. Alright, we are actually inside for this one and all these activities you can do inside or outside. Um, whatever suits you best. Uh, this one's called Bowl Ball, and up here I have six bowls, if you can see or not, and they're kind of in a triangle shape. So the ones in the front, where there's three, have a number one in them because they're worth one point each. Okay? The middle right here, we get a little taller, but there's only two of them, worth two points, and the one that's by itself at the top of the triangle is worth three points. So, um, I, did, I forgot to add bowls in on the uh, equipment list video, uh, but you're gonna need six bowls. Um, these bowls are kind of shallow, so it's gonna be a little harder. If you have some taller bowls, that might work better. And the bigger, um, obviously the easier it's gonna be. And you want them a couple inches apart. Um, and then, I have a cup, you can use anything else. I have a cup six feet away, because that's where I'm gonna try and toss my sock ball and try to see how many points I can get in one minute. Um, I also have a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil that I can tally the points if you want to keep track of the points. If you don't want to keep track and you just want to try for fun, um, that sounds great too. If you have somebody else that wants to keep track, that might be a little easier as well. So I'm going to be tossing them from here. I have one minute to score as many points as I can. So let's see what happens. Timekeeper, are you ready? All right, here we go. Oh, see, that's where that shallow ball kind of bounced out. Oh, almost had a two-pointer. Right. Gotta hurry back. Oh, it bounced out. Still no points. There we go. That's a two-pointer. So I'm gonna just mark a two down. Come on. Oh, right in the middle. Something else too, if you're having some trouble, is you can scoop the balls closer together. Time. Time. Oh, time's running out. All right. So if I add mine up, I had seven. So 
um, practice this so that you are ready for fun day on Friday. All right, we got the cup stack knocked down here. And what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need three cups for your stack. You're doing a three cup stack, two on the ground, two on the bottom, one on top. And you need three um, sock balls to try and knock it down. So um, the goal of the uh, activity here is to um, throw the sock balls to try and knock down the tower. And um, you have one minute to do as many times as you can. Now, let's say I'm gonna do about five steps away. Um, I throw it and it only knocks over maybe like one of the cups. I have to keep throwing until I knock over the whole tower. So maybe I gotta do it one more. Oh, I missed all of them. So I don't have any points yet. I gotta go pick up my softballs and keep trying, okay? Also, you wanna probably have something behind you that way if you throw it too high. Um, you don't have to chase the ball way far away. So set up this cup and I'll do a little demo for you guys. Also, you probably want your cup stack to be at the end of the table. All right, so I got my cup here so I know where my spot is, so I don't have to waste any time counting my steps. All right, timekeeper, are you ready? All right, here we go. All right, so that's one point because I knocked over the whole stack. Now I gotta rebuild my stack. Two on the bottom, one on top. Collect my ball, my sock balls, and go back to try and get another point here. So we can get right, oh. Oh, that's not a point. I'm gonna just pick up the softball so I can try and get a point here. There we go. I got two points. Rebuild my cup stack. Pick up the yard ball. There we go. Three points. You gotta be fast here. You gotta run back and forth fast. So it's kind of similar to the ladder throw one, um, but this one you're trying to go fast um, and do as many as you can in a minute. So I um, hope you practice that and be ready for Friday. All right, Maxwell. So those are our 10 virtual fun day activities from home. So um, I want you to spend, if you get a chance next week to practice any of them that you like the most. And if you don't have the equipment to do some of them, that's okay. Um, I don't want you to go out and buy anything, um, just things that you have around the house. So. Um, if you want to spend next week practicing, that sounds awesome. And then on Friday, the whole school is going to do fun day together. So we would love to see videos and pictures of you doing your activities. Um, if you want to keep score, that's fine. If you just want to do it for fun, that sounds great too. Um, so I know it's a little different than we normally do, but we're going to be adaptable because that's how we do things at Maxwell. So we make the best of it, and I know you guys will too. So miss you guys, and I can't wait to see the videos and pictures.